Now, everybody loves playing these touchscreen games. I mean, they're just so enjoyable, so easy just to pick up and play. Don't really require any kind of instructions. Just grab your phone and you're more or less good to go. Now, the trouble is, touchscreen games don't work on your Android boxes and especially not on your Fire Stick until today. So in this video today, let me show you a very easy process so you can then enjoy all of your favorite touchscreen games on your Fire Stick or really any Android device. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, make sure you've got ADB debugging enabled and also the option to install applications from unknown sources. Once you've done that, let's open up Downloader and head over to my website, which we know the address is just bit.ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, as soon as you get to my website, you want to head over to the tutorial section and there you'll see there is a dedicated tutorial on how you can play touchscreen games on your Android box or on your Fire Stick. So let's open that up and here it is. So play touchscreen games on your Fire Stick or really any Android box. Let's scroll down. Here we have the step-by-step -step instructions just to enable um, ADB. And here it is, so it's called PGP 2.0. Let's click on that. And many thanks to the guy that actually sent me this for this video. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. And that will then download and install the application directly on your device. Once it's done that, let's press the home key and here's the new application there. Now, when you open it for the first time, let's see what happens. So first at the top it says which controllers or devices it can see. It can see the standard Amazon TV remote control and also a virtual mouse. But before we play any games, I will be connecting my Xbox One controller to my Fire Stick. But the key thing we want to do first is actually activate this application. And the way we activate this application is by running two ADB commands. So let's do that now. Let's press the home key and let's open up remote ADB shell. Let's leave the IP as 127.0.0.1 and let's click on connect because we are making connection to ourselves. And we are now connected. So the two lines that you need are actually written on my tutorials page. So either you can just use the Fire TV remote control application for your cell phone and copy and paste those out. Alternatively, you can just press the select button on the remote and just type the commands in here. But just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to use my Fire TV application. And I can now just use the virtual keyboard of this application and type in the command. So the first command is just sh space slash sd card slash, I'm not gonna pronounce that word there, uh, dot game assistant to forward slash inject dot sh. So that's the command there. Let's now click on run. And let's see if I made any typos. And when you see a bunch of commands like that or a bunch of lines like that, that means it's gone through successfully. So that's the first command. Let's now type in the second command. And the second command, I'm just gonna copy and paste. So let's do that now. That's the command there. And this will basically give the application overlay permissions because you need to see the application icon so you can configure the virtual controls. Okay, once you've done that, let's click on run. Let's press the back button and both those commands have gone in without any errors and that's all of the configuration we need via remote adb shell let's now grab our controller and to pair your bluetooth controller just go over to your settings go to remotes and bluetooth devices click on game controllers and here just click on add when you click on add turn your controller on and just make sure it's in pairing mode once you've done that it will then appear in the list and once it's in the list you can now control your device using your controller Okay, so we've entered in those two ADB commands and we've now paired our Xbox controller. Let's now open up the application and let's see if that's now working. And this is it guys, so this is what you're looking for. You're looking for confirmation that the application is now activated because of those two ADB commands. And you also want to confirm that you now have your wireless controller or your game controller visible in the application. And once you've done that, we can now just start adding in the games that we want to play. 
So let's click on Add Games. Now in this example, I'm just going to use uh, two of these games. Let's go for Subway Surfers. Let's click on Add. Let's click on Add again. And let's also add in Angry Birds. Okay, that's now been added. Let's start with Angry Birds first. Let's configure this game first. Let's click on that. And then when you see this message, this will just confirm that you have got the right permissions. The only thing is for the battery optimization, we have to click on skip. So let's do that now. Let's bring up the virtual mouse and let's click on skip. Once you've done that, we can now click on skip again and the game should then launch. So here we can see that the game has launched okay, but of course I have no control off here. And the reason for that is, is we need to map the touchscreen controls to the buttons on here or to the joystick on here. If you go over to the floating icon, let's click on that. So once again, let's bring up the virtual mouse. You will get this message here, but we can ignore that. Let's click on okay. And let's click on the top. Let's click on I know. And you want to click on the plus icon here, which means we want to add some mapping controls. So let's click on the plus. So the first thing we're going to add is an analog joystick because as we know with this game, we normally just pull back on the left and then the bird just flies to the right. So let's click on that now. And this will then add an analog stick on the screen there. And we can now basically drag this down where we want to place it. So I know for this game, uh, let's leave it about here. So that will simulate me having my finger on the screen here and then pulling back or controlling it from there. So that's the first thing. The next thing I'm going to do is add a button for this thing here because we actually want to start the game. So for that, let's click on plus. I'm now going to add a key. And then it will ask you, what key do you want to add? So for this, I'm just going to click on Y. So that's come up as X for some reason, but that's fine. I can now just, again, drag that key, bring that down, and put it here. So we have a left joystick here, analog joystick, and we have the X button there. Let's now click on the tick, which means we want to activate that. Let's see if that works. Okay, so let's press X. That's gone through, guys. Okay, so we're now on the first screen. Let's touch that again. And we can see if I move left and right, we can see the joystick part is actually working. I just need to select this because that's the level I want to play. So let's bring up the virtual mouse. And I can now click on this. And I should then start the level. If I pull back on the left here, we can see that's moving the screen, but not actually moving the bird. So we need to tweak where that virtual joystick is. So once again, let's go back to the panda. And of course, guys, you don't have to do this once just to configure the game. And once the game is configured, you can just start playing it straight away. Let's click up here again. And let's now move this joystick. So I'm going to press and hold the select button here. And move that so it's a bit closer to the bird. So let's move it about there. You can also adjust the size if you want to. So you can make it a bit bigger. That should be fine. Let's click on OK. All right, let's see if that works now. So pull back. Great, that's like the worst start ever, but we can see that's working absolutely fine now. Uh, let's try that again. So I can pull back fully for maximum power. If I let go of the joystick a bit, we can see that does actually reduce that power. Okay, let's see if we can take out those pigs. Take that. All right, not bad. Let's see if we can get to the TNT. Let's go for max power and max height as well. And that's a total miss. And of course, this is just one example. You really can customize all of your touchscreen games exactly how you like it. That's working absolutely fine. So just like that, you can map all of the buttons off your joypad onto the various touchscreen buttons. Okay, so that's the first game. Let's now customize the next game. Let's open up the second game. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Now for this game, we can see I've mapped the B button for the cross, so I can actually go back. And there's an A button down here. Let's press the B button. That takes me back. And let me show you how I configured this one. Let's click on that. So here, for example, we can see I've got the left joypad here because this game mostly you're swiping left and right to control the character. 
I've got an A button down here to continue, and I've got a B button up there to cross. Let's see if that actually works. Let's press A. Okay, so let's try the swiping. And that's working absolutely fine. So depending on what game you're playing, you may have to adjust the virtual joystick depending on where the touchscreen controls are and then maybe add in some virtual buttons depending on what the game is. But for most of these basic games, you can just add in the, the joystick roughly where the hand should be when you should be swiping. And once you've done that, you can start playing all of these amazing touchscreen games that you'd normally play on your phone, but on the big screen on your Fire Stick. And that's working absolutely fine. And the great thing is if it doesn't work the first time, you can just pause the game and let me show you why I've made this the A button because when you do actually die in this game, we can see I've mapped the A button for this large green play button here. Let's click on that. And that then starts the game again. But as I was saying, if you have made a mistake, just go to the top and let's say for example, you want to move this uh, slightly to the left. You can just press the select button on that and then just drag it to the left. Let's just move it about there, for example. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think this is a pretty cool thing we can do on our Fire Stick or really any Android device to allow us to enjoy all of our favorite touchscreen games on the big screen. So if you did find this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.